After going through step two in the process, which really types the type of ankle mobility deficit that we're dealing with, either soft tissue or joint restriction, if you indeed had a soft tissue restriction, we need to be using soft tissue modalities in order to try to improve dorsiflexion range of motion. But before we get to that, we have to differentiate the soft tissues that are involved in order to target them ideally. So there's three major key players of the musculature of the backside of the lower leg. The first group are the true calf muscles, the medial and the lateral gastrocnemius. Deep to this is the soleus group that comes down and also attaches to that Achilles tendon. And then even deeper, on the back side of the shin here, we have the deep flexor group that also aids into rotation of the ankle and plantar flexion of the ankle. So we need to actually be differentiating the soft tissues of the lower leg in order to foam roll them correctly. So Lindsay's gonna get it set up here, and she's gonna show the proper foam rolling setup first for the gastrox. She's gonna be contacting the gastrox with the foam roller, gonna be bringing her leg opposite to put pressure down. She's going to be coming up into dorsiflexion, toes up position. From here, we're gonna use an oscillation over these tissues specifically. Now the setup's gonna look very, very similar for the soleus. The only difference is that the foam roller is going to be in contact with the deeper soleus, remembering that it is deeper down on the leg. Now, because the deep flexor group is so deep on the backside of that shin, it's really, really hard to get a foam roller or even a lacrosse ball into that area. So what we're gonna be doing is taking the foam roller away, Lindsay's gonna be bending her leg up, and she's gonna be using her thumb in order to contact the backside of the shin, put a pressure down, and she's gonna be actively moving her ankle, her toes, and her foot from plantar flexion into dorsiflexion. This is a hands-on SMR technique. Make sure that you guys are hunting for the dysfunctional tissue and you're addressing it correctly with the correct tools. Ugh.